our channels, man. Somebody do a text. Let me see if I can see you guys. I can't. I don't know how this works. Yeah. It's the first time I do a live. Well, it's the first time I do a live while I'm in the Ramfla, the car, and in vertical mode. Bet you guys didn't know. First of all, let me know you guys can hear me. That's first of all. Sound check. Microphone check. One, two, one, two. Check. Second of all. Um. This is the first time that I'm doing a live vertical. Right, Cause a while back they let you do vertical. There we go. I see a thumbs up. Let me see. Somebody right. Oh, okay. He says, what's up, Essie? Then we got hot shoot right there. Okay, okay. I'm just letting you guys know what I see on my screen. I see myself drinking a Red Bull. What's up? What's happening? Uh, break of dawn, David. If I crash, you guys are gonna live stream this shit. I'm gonna go viral. Uh, if I crash, upload this shit to the IG. Hector Bravo fucking flipped a round fly, landed on top of his head. Mother. Um, who's that right there? We got the homie Spinal. Hi, nerd. About to go mow your lawn. Yeah, like Forrest Gump, bro. It's good to know that you're still out there putting in work, Spinal. Keep pushing forward. <laughs> Spinal, keep that lawnmower pushing forward, my boy. Love you. Carmine the pit bull. Hector Bravo on the road. I am. Let me know how my audio is, though. What up, George? What up, what up, what up? George, bro, trust me. Right now, I would rather be playing the uh, Xbox, but I'm on the road. What's up, homie? Who's that right there? Real recognizes real. What up? Um, yeah, I'm on my way to City of Angels, Los Angeles. I never I never um, telegraphed my next move or what, but you ain't going to find me anyways, man. I'm always on the go. One minute, I'm there. Uh, spot, you know, over there in France, Paris, with all due respect. These youngsters don't even know who Princess Diana is, man. What's up, Harbor Aria? I was at your city yesterday, LT. Well, I just passed by. You should hit me up, bro. Could have got a chanata, a coffee. Um, I'm about to pass by your city. The other side. What up, Shanae? What's cracking? Esquiel, what up, what up, right there? What up? If I miss you guys, I didn't do it on purpose. Those are little... Right, what up, Roy? Why do you always talk like an inmate? Why do you always talk like an inmate? You fuck off. Um, I'm, I'm driving Uber. So speaking of driving Uber, be safe, stay ready. Yeah, they might catch me slipping. I didn't come strapped today. I got a little pocket knife on me, though. Nothing special. I mean, nothing special. I should, probably shouldn't be opening this on the road, right? I didn't bring, you know, I didn't come strapped, but uh, gotta have something. What do they say? A knifeless, a uh, knifeless man is a lifeless man. Speaking of knives, I'm gonna drop a ju juicy episode tomorrow about a about a about a knife in a prison. Be a good one. I know you guys like the drama, man. I, you guys, I always like to put wisdom and gems on you. And you guys, I always like, hey, turn your lives around, man. Do great. Follow the Lord. You guys are like, ooh, culero. The second I do like a meme of some chick, you guys are laughing all over it, man. You guys appreciate the, you guys appreciate all the carry I be giving these people, man. How many deans did the hall leave on your car? Oh, the hail. Oh, fuck, I didn't even look. It looks like it's all right. They were not that big. They're not that big, G. Standard issue. And the hail, too. Anything you need to... Anything you need, let me know, G. I'm posted. Hell yeah, bro. Appreciate that for sure. What sucks is I'm going to be on the road late. I'm. Uh, by the way, I'm in the doghouse. Lost my blue wrench. How the hell... No, you didn't lose your blue wrench, bro. This is a different... Uh, damn it. You didn't lose your blue wrench. This is a different channel. I don't know, even know if I gave you a wrench on this channel. But uh, when I pull over, not now, because I don't want to crash, I'll give you the red. Don't even trip. That goes without saying, bro. I thought you were going to mean the real dog, the real doghouse, bro, where I'd be staying. 18 Warriors on here. Probably people are enjoying their Saturday. That's good, man. Gold Butterfly. Nah, Carmine, I don't know why you don't have a wrench. You should have a wrench. Harbor area should have a wrench, too. All you... I don't understand. This is... Just so you guys know, you're on the uh, Warner... That Warner channel. It's not the... Uh, that prison guard channel. I'm trying to keep... 
trying to keep them simultaneously neck and neck going backwards. I got a lot of other projects too, man. Let me tell you. I might as well just tell you. No point, no point, no point in hiding it. Um, you don't need weapons out here. Just hit me up. Facts. Hell yeah, my boy. Likewise. You remind me of a funny story, bro. Because like, even if I'm kicking it with somebody and I don't know, like, and it goes down, it's like it's that natural instinct just to, just to, <laughs> just to hold it down, you know. <laughs> Would you ever? Oh, were you ever in the army with a guy named Alex Garcia? He's a guard. No. In the juvenile hall. No. You gotta understand the military's huge, bro. Massive. I was in the army with a guy named Michael Garcia. That's my best man. I texted him this morning. I text him a, a video of my daughter playing softball. T-ball. No rush. Be safe. For sure, Carmine. Um, Esquiel, how is T-ball coaching going from the... Hey, bro. Esquiel, about that, man. Every Saturday... Hey, these girls are good, dude. They're five-year-olds. And me, I'm not a competitive... Okay, not like that. Okay, Bottom line is, is I'm not going to be a coach, right? It's my first time to be a coach. I'm like, oh, you girls have to win, make it uncomfortable, make them unhappy and competitive, right? I'm chill. That's my normal personality is chill. But I think the more you make people comfortable, the more they perform better because these girls are like, pow, pow, think, think. Um, it's crazy. I was just watching your interview from yesterday. Thank you, break it down. I'm about to, I'm heading up to LA right now to do another one. And let me tell you, I'm dragging ass, bro. I'm like, I'm drinking Red Bull and I'm fucking tired. I'm exhausted. Like this whole time I'm contemplating like, fuck, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. But you make an obligation. You give somebody your word. You have to follow through, right? Um, and I'm not really, no, I'm not really one to take my foot off the gas pedal. Hey, Karnal, I recently started watching your videos. Great content. Muchas gracias. Did you work at North Kern State Prison during 2002-2003? I did not. Welcome. Thank you. We're all riding together over here. Yeah, we're spreading messages of positivity and hope and prosperity. And we celebrate wins over here. But I did not join the California Department of Corrections until the year. 2006 and it was all down south dude southern california um sentinella and donovan it was a different time back then <laughs> oh man what up abuelita's journey man what a trip who's that right there i don't know who that is but i might be wolf michigan wolverines i just see the yellow i can't i'm driving right now man usually i'm in the car usually it'll say but thank you for whoever blessed me right now I got my little Google Maps going for you in LA. You're right, you're right, you're right. It could be a CH. We got Abuelita's journey in the house, man. Shout out to her. She's been riding since day one. Massive, uh, huge part of the network working behind the scenes. We got Buzz from Yard Recall. What up? Stocked on 209. I just saw a documentary on the Diaz brothers. Man, the UFC did the Diaz brothers bad, bro. They did them fucking dirty. All because Nick wouldn't bend the knee. All because Nick wouldn't play the game. And you even hear Dana White saying in one of the episodes, they, they did a good documentary. Look, Google it. It's like Nate Diaz, Nick Diaz, UFC. It'll be a good one. And Dana White is straight up saying, hey, Nick, I just need Nick to play the game this much play the game. The fool didn't want to play the game. Shout out to him. They ended up banning him for five years. That's, I remember all that. I remember all that. The grunt previews are gnarly. ASDL. So the, the video is complete, right? They're working on the, uh, for those that you guys don't know, there is a documentary coming out the end of this year, 2024. The title of it is called Grunt. Okay. The whole thing is, uh, my deployment to Iraq in 2004, Operation Iraqi Freedom 2, OIF 2, the beginning of the insurgency, you know, guerrilla warfare, car bombs, roadside bombs, mortars, ambushes, rockets, the whole nine. Um, 
and uh, uh, a lot of video footage, a lot of pictures from my whole collection. Oh, that was Michigan Wolverines. What up, my boy? Shout out to you. It, it showed when it went up. Um, and, you know, there's not that much gruesome, gruesome stuff in there. Okay, there's not. I'm going to let you know right now. But do I have a lot of gruesome videos? Yeah, I might have to shoot that over to the Patreon. But anyways, um, I ain't trying to scare nobody either. But uh, I asked the editor, I'm like, hey, man, can you add more, like, gore, graph? And he's like, I don't know, bro. Like, Amazon might ban us. They might refuse to publish it. And I'm like, ah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Don't uh, do not do that, right? Don't, don't fuck off an opportunity just because I want to show some carnage, some brains, some blood, some guts. You know, and I'll be honest with you guys. The other day I made a video. I forgot what the video was about. I made too many a day. And I talked about how the boots, the boots had blood, guts, and brains on them. You probably ask yourself, ah, heck, you're, you're, you're putting a 10 on that. There's no way your boots can have all of that. If you've ever seen a car bomb, okay, if you've ever seen the results of a car bomb, which hopefully you never do, I pray you never will. I mean, I don't even know why I'm saying this right now. Probably because I love you guys. Um... All you see everywhere is just pieces of meat, just pieces of meat all over the floor. And then you have to walk in that piece of meat. It's not good. One thing I will say is the car bomb that I responded to immediately, initially was uh, in January. So it was cold outside. So the whole entire ground had, um, man, this fucking video is probably going to get bad. The whole entire ground was um, coming up with steam. Coming up with steam from the hot body parts, the hot internal body parts. It was not cool. It was not cool. It was like a living nightmare is what it was like. Damn, I'm getting hungry. I'm about to pull over some three pies right now. Nah, just kidding, homies. Ah! <laughs> I have to do some jokes on you guys, man. Well, the car bomb wasn't the joke. The whole me pulling over to get some three pies was a joke. <laughs> oh, my you guys played too much, man. That's why I love you. What up, Camille the Taco Turd? What up, what up, what up? Michigan Wolverines. What's cracking? My boy had to tap in right back at you. Man, I've been drinking a lot of coffee, too. This whole road right here, I'm going to be drinking coffee and Red Bull. I have a tummy ache by the time I do. Uh, <laughs> I see those slapping faces right there. Yeah, man, there was so much brains on the floor. Hold on, I got to pull over a taco that world over and I'm going to get some sassos. Nah, man, that's the thing. You become desensitized. You start making stupid fucking jokes like that. That shit ain't normal. My daughter, when she's older, probably looked at these videos and like, damn, my dad wasn't all there up in the head, man. But golly, you was a good softball coach. <laughs> that don't even make sense. <laughs> that don't even make sense. <laughs> Keep up the good work, Arnal. Uh, God bless. Thank you, Juan. Lieutenant, great interview. Yeah, I did the interview with the uh, with the Internal Affairs LAPD guy. We got some big plans too. Like <laughs> too many plans, not enough time in the day. Let me tell you, too many plans. What's up, bro? Love this channel. Right back at you, Danny One. So, what are some of my plans? Okay, I I have this YouTube channel. Right, I launched. Uh, well, we 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 have this YouTube channel. I launched. The YouTube channel, That War Nerd. And again, because of you guys, it is successful, right? I'm only one person. You guys are the whole entire network, the whole army. Um, why did I do that? Well, you may need plan A, B, Cs, and Ds. Man, it's kind of funny. Whenever it comes to CDCR, you better have multiple plans, man. They are known to, they are known to do you dirty. I tell you, they're worse than the Italian mob. Okay. God forbid you speak out against them. Uh... And then thanks to the homie, uh, George. After one year and five months, he, he's like, hey, bro, you ever think about doing a Twitch? You know, a Twitch account. I just had my sister ask me right now, what's Twitch? I'm like, hey, it's like people can watch you playing video games. Uh, she hasn't responded yet. But um, imagine that, man. People can watch you playing video games, man. What a great thing. 2024, man. What a great time to be alive. Uh so, yeah, that's cool, too, man. I got that going. I just got monetized for that, meaning that I became an affiliate. That means there's a, you go watch my channel. You watch me yell at the screen, give you uh, 
tips on like, hey, throw this flashbang right here. These bad guys like to hang out right here. Let's light these fools. That's a badass onslaught right there. Looking at, uh, let's light these dudes up right here. Um, yeah, and then there's ads and stuff like that. Come here, Shadow. What up? What up? What up? That homie's right there on the Twitch too. Okay, I see you, 1967 kid in the house. Shout out to Puerto Rico, my boy. He's doing big things over there. So is the fam. Hey, 1967 kid, which president was it that did not know Puerto Rico was part of the United States, bro? I remember you mentioned that because you were surprised that I knew that. You're like, what? Yeah, man, of course I knew that. I had my buddy Maldonado. He's from Puerto Rico. He's from Bayamon, Puerto Rico. We're in the army together. What up, Chrissy? Salute from the 330. Where's the 330? Usually when I'm on the computer, I can Google. I can't. I don't even got my other phone. You know, you never know when the Office of Internal Affairs is trying to tap into my shit and hack me, my buggers. You guys never seen me drink a Red Bull, huh? I get turned up. I get turned up. Probably a person that's hyper like me shouldn't be drinking Red Bull. Sure the fuck shouldn't be doing drugs. Let me tell you. Speaking the truth, that's why we are here. You guys love the truth, huh? You guys love the truth, man. And that's what's easy on this end, <laughs> right? Because there's, a, there's two different angles. Like right now, you guys are looking at me, but I'm reading your little comments. There's 32. I can see that. And I see seven thumbs up. The math ain't mathing, man. The math ain't mathing. Let's get those motherfucking thumbs up. up. Why? I don't know. I think it's good for the algorithm. <laughs> but uh, you know how easy it is for me to get on the screen and just tell the truth? There you go. I see another an eight. There was. I'm not even going to talk negative. We'll just keep it at that. Road vibes. I never want to see something like that. Only the movies. I've seen some things, but nothing like that. Yeah, he's referring to the car bomb, man. It was a, uh, oof. oof. It was uh, not normal, okay? It was abnormal. Oh, yeah. I don't even remember how much it, I don't even know when, on the documentary how much I talked about it. I can't recall. I don't even want to get into the graphics right now because it's probably not appropriate. It is right now, not the time of nor the place. Um, man, I'm way behind on the comments, but it's all good. You keep them put in there. No más sacas hambre, bro. That's how far back I am. Why did you leave corrections? Who wrote that right there? Papasi, Pomposi, five oh seven. I left corrections because I was thirty eight years old. I had 16 years in the department with 12 years remaining until I was eligible to retire. And I was looking around to my left, to my right, and looking at all the changes that had transpired over the years, more so lately. And I was doing the math in my head like, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it, man. Like, this is so wild right here. They got us doing some wild stuff right now. As a matter of fact, somebody just reached out to me and told me that Salinas Valley general population, Bravo Yard, Salinas Valley, B Yard, GP, that they're putting SNYs onto that facility. They're putting SNYs onto that yard. That's not good, okay? You, that, you want to know why I left? The whole fucking, it's r- ridiculous. I want no part of that, man. I want nothing to do with that. Um, you guys got to see what I'm seeing. You guys don't see what I see. You wonder why they cl- clear out the Corcoran prison, that yard. All the board. They must have said it was because of the chow hall was moldy. I'm not I'm not buying that, right? Why did they shut down all the level fours at Calipat? Like whatever yard that was, Charlie or Bravo, I can't even remember. Why do they want to shut down Donovan level four yard? Look what they're doing, man. They're going to get rid of level four. Look what they're doing. They're going to get rid of S and Y. They're just going to mix everybody. They continue to mix everybody. I'm cool. I hate that I had to repeat myself. 
But I love you guys. Costa Rosa runs from C's yard. Facts. Facts. It is grimy, bro. Um, I had a I had a former manager reach out to me and tell me how grimy the department was because he, he wouldn't play the game. I wasn't surprised at everything he was telling me. I was disgusted. Like, damn, they're atrocious. They're atrocious. Is Brother Matt there? You got to do a Call of Duty live. I'm playing account once to show, buddy, you're really playing. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to link it up yet, bro. You got to understand I'm taking baby steps. Oh, there's 12 people on here, bro. Everybody left. Se fueron a la verga. What's up, Matt? What's up? They didn't even say bye. They didn't even say peace, rude ass motherfucker. That's the last time I invite you over to the party. That interview with LAPD was cool, G. Congrats. Thank you, man. Yeah, me and him might be, well, not might be. We got plans to network. I'll leave it at that, but we have good, uh, he has good resources. How is MCJ LA County Jail? I have no inside opinion or knowledge of the county, county jail. I can tell you about the Imperial County Jail. Your boy spent a week in there, in camp, in camp. Nothing serious, nothing crazy. It was a beer run. Yeah, I ran GP. What's up? What's happening? This was 2005, man, before I was a CEO. <laughs> yeah, I ran GP, man. You ain't gonna catch me with no bad paperwork. <laughs> what did you say? What the fuck did he say? Yeah, motherfucker, guy stole this 18 pack right here. Here it says it in black and white, motherfuckers. <laughs> Just kidding. I didn't even actually steal the beer. I was sitting in the back seat pretending to be asleep when the fucking truck got pulled over and we all went to jail. It was horrible. It was dumb. I accept accountability. I should not have even ever even done that. 18 pack of beer got me in a got me in jail for one week and charged charged with commercial burglary. Burger, you know, fucking cops in brawl, you have nothing better to do than make shit up, man. Literally. That's why I don't like small town cops. You come to San Diego, they're busy fighting real crime, man. They're cool as fuck. Chula Vista, don't even get me started. Those are some cool ass cops. They're all my homies. <laughs> oh, man. My bad, LT. Just hit the like button. Oh, it's all good, bro. It's all good. Just make sure you stand by that wall over there, dude, and do burpees throughout the remainder of the yard. Rogue vibes. Or forgetting to smash the subscribe button. Discipline, bro. It's a DP. <laughs> we always gotta stay, we always gotta stay on point, bro. You never know when I'm gonna pop up on this live, man. Where am I gonna go next? Where am I gonna go next? Let me catch up. What's up from Los Angeles, 213 Pico Union District. What up, what up, Roberto? Shout out to you. Shout out to LA, man. I'm heading that way right now. <laughs> hey, look at that. Two more homicides in first week of April. Crazy. CCR. So we, we did the math, right? Six plus two equals eight. Come on, bro. You're playing too much. Eight murders in 2024. January, February, March, April. That's four months, eight murders. You're averaging averaging two murders a month. But what you really had was four <laughs> or six. You had six, huh? Six back to back to back to back. Do you guys think that's a lot? Do you guys think that's a little? Do you guys think that's excessive? Do you think that's normal for, for a prison setting? I, you know, the murders are one thing. The murders are one thing. But it's, a, it's not so much that the murders, it's not the murders that bother me about the California Department of Corrections. It's not the murders, right? It's that they try to hide and propaganda, they try to hide, cover up, fluff. That is what gets me like, man, be real. Be transparent. Everybody will love you for it. They'll respect you for it. At the, at the minimum, they'll respect you. 
CDCR. You be transparent. You be transparent. You'll get rid of me. You know, there won't be no need for me. Then I can just talk about, hey, what's up? Welcome back to our channels. Uh, this and that. Um, just be transparent, man. Don't be planting seeds, making it look like everything's cool because it's not cool. Murders are not cool. Um, I'm going to ask you guys something because you guys are on here. You guys are loyal. You guys haven't gotten off yet. What did you guys think about that one picture of that female CEO? She was young. She had one year and three months in the department. That's how much that female has. Somebody reached out to me and says she was from my academy. That girl has, I said, how much time you have? One year and three months. Okay. What did you guys think about that photograph from your opinion? Because I got all kinds, not, I got mixed reviews, okay? The ones that knocked it were the females. The ones that knocked me were the females. But I think they took it out of context. Um, and I can see why a female would not agree with that. The men, men and women are built different by design. By design, genetically, physically, uh, by design, right? Adam and Eve. What do you guys think about a female CEO? I mean, you guys probably, to you, it probably doesn't, it probably doesn't hold the same bearing, especially if you're just an outsider looking in. You see a female CEO giving, engaging, making physical contact, that, you know, with, a, with an inmate's son. First of all, I think CDCR was wrong for publishing a minor on their website, number one. You said it. It's a contained environment. Manipulation happens. Yeah, it's a contained environment. Facts, facts, facts. But I also had other people tell me that it is no different than an LAPD officer going to a neighborhood and playing with a kid, like high-fiving. But it is different. Because in LA, you can walk to the corner and go buy some dope. In LA, you can go walk to the liquor store and go buy some alcohol. In prison, you don't have that option to go get it yourself. You have to utilize your means. And your means often includes dirty staff members. Huggy. He brought in grills to the inmates. Huggy. Knew him for 15 years. Huggy. He got three years federal prison. Why was it federal? Because he took the mold from the inmate and shipped it over state lines to Texas. That made it federal. You're a fucking idiot. But, uh. Yeah, it's not the same. It's a contained environment. It's a contained environment. Like, let, if you put some blues on me, right? Me right now. You shave my fucking luscious. Look at luscious ass hair. I saw a coworker right now. Shout out to him if he's on here. I don't think he watches me on the YouTube. He's watching me more on the Instagram. He said, hey, wait. Cut your hair, bro. You look like a fucking EOP. I said, homie, I can't afford it. But we were yelling. He was right here on the side. I said, homie, I can't afford it. Like, bullshit. So your car, you can get 20 fucking haircuts. <laughs> I said, you're the CEO, homie. You make all the money. But, uh, huggy, not mad. <laughs> um, where was I talking about my hair? I was talking about my luscious hair. Oh. 28 viewers. Look it. You guys want to know how much of an asshole I am? No, I correct that. You want to know how much of an asshole I could be? Check this out. Shave my love shit's fucking hair off, right? Boom, boom. Razor it. I do look like Jason Voorhees, though. I baked my head one time in Kuwait. I'll never do that shit again. Put some blues on me, right? Make me a GP inmate. Fuck it. I don't care. It's and why. It doesn't matter at this point. It's all the same. What the hell? <laughs> It's all the same at this point. Nah, Hector, it ain't all the same. Get with your story. This is what I would do. If my son, and right, I'm an inmate, man. I, I've been I've been surrounded by Chorizo for decades, so I'm kind of horny. I'm not going to lie. I'm a horny vato. Fuck, even the big CEOs get love in there, let alone a young, beautiful one. 
If I saw my son interact with that female in my head, I'm like, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Let alone my own son. I'm thinking like, this just opened up an opportunity for me. I'm going to fucking capitalize all over this shit. When that chick works my building, I'm going to say this. Hey, what's up? I don't even know her last name. What's up, Rodriguez? Hey, how, how's everything going? Cool? Are you good? Like, hey, like, how come your partner's always tripping? Like, the other day, man, this and that. And just kind of throw it out there, right? Start turning her against her partner. Fuck it. Why not? I got all <laughs> I got all day. I got all kind of games I can play, manipulate, fuck her mind. Right? So I can get what I want. Hey, uh, hey I just wanted to say thank you for that. You know, um, I saw how you were interacting with my son. Like, yeah, you know, the mom works a lot, this and that. I've been in here this whole time. Just boom, 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 boom. Start chipping away. Crack that coconut. Crack that coconut. What the heck do you don't know her? You don't know her. I didn't fucking say her. I said this is what I would do. I'll capitalize all over that shit. I'll eat that shit up. I'll, I'll be skipping my breakfast meals just to be hollering at Miss Jackson. Hey, girl. What you got in those class A pants, girl? Fuck fucking accident right now i'm looking at my fucking uh i'm looking at my fucking google maps man fuck traffic man that's why i hate driving i need a that's why i hate driving um yeah so if i was an inmate and a female attractive female was all over hanging out with my son one little high five that's all i need that's all i need to see make contact girl make contact i'll hold that shit against you i'll i'll <laughs> hey um something little right hey i drew this card i drew this greeting card for my son but i missed the mail drop you think you can like just put this out there on the way out. You think you can maybe just drop this off like in the mailbox somewhere out there, right? Just any little fucking thing. Hey, I drew this bandana. Like, look, look what I drew like right here. Just any fucking, oh my, I don't give a fuck. She won't even know what I'm doing till it's too late. <laughs> That's how much of a fucking dog I am, right? And you don't think these dudes ain't got nothing but time? Manipulation skills that can beat a lot of people. It opens up an opportunity for an overfamiliarity converting. My son says hi. I'm gonna tell you, my son says hi. He keeps telling me how happy he was to meet you. Boom. Boom. I didn't even think about that one. But there's just so many angles you can work it. Boom. Man. Wow. Oh my God. I gotta stop talking about this because it's really it could. It's a possibility, okay? And if it's a possibility, then it's too much for me. Possibility. And I think that's why we don't do these things. And I miss the sound effects. I don't have no sound effects in here. That's me making a sound effect for you guys. But uh, yeah, you don't do that. You don't do that. And if you're a female and you disagree with me, go ahead. I don't care. Go ahead. I stand by mine, girl. One more thing. Hong Kong. I, I think one time on my first book signing, somebody blessed me and I didn't have any sound effects. Yeah, that is true. And I honked my horn for them. It was hilarious. But I'm not doing it right now because I'm on the freeway. It'll be nice to go to California and meet you with my CEO son. Yeah, San Diego, bro, roll through. Roll through. The beach is right here, man. So many places to eat. Almost all the women at Donovan in the 2000s was touchy-feely and flirty. Oh, man, I don't want to hear. You know, and I'm not. I, I'm not saying that, right? Like, I'm not, that's not the angle that I'm using, like saying, oh, all female girl, all female staff are dirty. Nope, you didn't hear me once say that. Um, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, you should not open up a door. You should not open up Pandora's box. As innocent, as innocent as that may look, right? Because the other people's intentions are not innocent. <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> she got some nargas. <laughs> you guys know you guys make me laugh, man, from time to time. Finish the Red Bull ready for combat. As a matter of fact, Carmine, I have a high tolerance for uppers, bro. Unfortunately. I could drink a lot of these. I probably will. I fucking hate driving. Put it on my top pet peeves that I hate driving. Hey, it's up. 27 Warriors watching. Smash that like button. Let me know what you guys want me to talk about. Put in the topic. Put in the talk, topic. Hector, talk about this. Hector, um, elaborate on this. You, you said this is one of your videos, right? Like, um, it could be anything. It could be the union videos. Let me tell you, those union guys got back to me all crazy, too, man. What the fuck? Everybody thinks I'm taking shots at them. Motherfucker, either you're a lame or you're with it. Do better. Do better. Do better. Everybody do better. I think people have gotten so... How do you say it? I think people have gotten so uh, afraid of inheriting risk. Inheriting consequences. Look, nothing is going to come free. Something will always come at a cost. Okay? to sit. That's not good to sit back and avoid... Avoid consequences and conflict because you think you're going to save your, your self-preservation? Nah. Nah. <laughs> Lieutenant, I'll be in San Diego in June. Hopefully, for sure. Let You let me know if it's in the beginning of the June, beginning of June or the end. Because in the end of June... In the end of June, missing your Wolverines. I'll be embarking on a new chapter in my life, my boy. So you let me know. I could do early June for sure. Late June. <sighs> man. It's top secret. I can't talk about it. No, it really is top secret, man. Yeah, what's up? What's happening? Um... Monterey, California. I had my font, uh, sun turn five. What up? What up? Okay, cool. Yeah, we can make it happen. Do you foresee the Cali GPS and Y scenario turning into Chicago people versus folk alliance situation? I am not familiar with Chicago, pe Chicago people or the folk alliance situation. What is that about? I never heard of that. You let me know what that is about, and I'll let you know what I foresee the Cali GPS and Y scenario. There's no more S and Y, man. There's no more S and Y. The state has now went to, California Department of Corrections has now went to programming facilities and non-programming facilities. In other words, non-designated. Okay, that means there's no more designations. There's no more designation of general population or no, no more designation of sensitive needs yard pc s and y they have already started to mix everybody right and it all started with it all started with connie gibson's memorandum which i have documented and on file i remember it said level twos and down we're gonna start mixing you guys well they, they sent it to the staff i i, I made a copy for sure because i'm like this is bad. this i'm gonna need this for sure when i go to court <laughs> Um, yeah, so we've seen it coming in the 2000s. There's a caveat, though, guys. To me, this is different than, you know how the, all the OGs that did time in the 80s or the 90s or the, or the 80s? They say, hey, back then we didn't have SNY. You had the, 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 the child molesters in the same yard as us. They got dealt with. I think to me this is worse because... The S and Y that you have fueled, right? You created, to me, it's like the Zetas, right? I've said it more than one time. It's like the Zetas cartel. You created a monster. You created another entity. You created a beast 
And now you're trying to put that beast back into the abyss. That's not going to work. That's more deadlier. You just, you, <laughs> you create. And whenever you see a motorcycle drive by, you ever just feel like opening your fucking door and taking them out, man? Son of a bitch. Um, I hate these motherfuckers. Probably got people that drive motorcycles on here. Like, now, nah, fuck you, Hector. Nah, well, don't be going like this near me, man. <clears throat> fucker. Motherfucker, I'm in my lane. You're not even in the lane. You're in the middle. The fuck? That shit's not normal, fuckers. Um, fuckers. Um, stupid fucking motorcycles, man. Motorcycles and people on bicycles when they when they want to ride up in your like you motherfucker. It's a it's a law of physics. You're gonna lose. Be fucking tight ass shorts. I got a picture of me in some bicycle shorts. I would embarrass myself later on. Um, SNY GP is no longer a thing. And it is fucking deadly. Let me tell you. Deadly. I'm not cool with that, man. I don't like that. Uh, it's not my cup of tea. Uh, and if you're going to do that, if you're going to do that, if you're going to do that, don't trickle them in in ones and twos against the enemy to get slaughtered. It better be 50% of this, 50% of this. Let's crack the doors. Everybody get it. And which is fucked up too, because you have the COs right there. Like, what? Like, come on, man. Like, <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing here? Really? The California Department of Correction, you got these brilliant people, these so-called brilliant people at the top that hate my guts. That's the best you can come up with. That's your best idea. We're getting rid of the S and Y. You're gonna fucking mix everybody, huh? You're <laughs> gonna let them kill each other, huh? We let hey, that's what we're gonna do, CVCR, administrators, managers. We're just gonna let them kill each other. While you're in your office in Sacramento, looking like an idiot with no spine, and the COs and the inmates are literally in a bloodbath, and then you're gonna burn, you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna charge the inmates with murder and attempted murder. You're gonna burn the officers for not reacting and responding in time, right, and for excessive use of force, whatever fucking shit you pull out of your hat and your ass. Um, but okay, fuck you, motherfucker. I'm bringing you with Hector Bravo. That's why with that homie that asked why I left the prison system. So I, I aborted, bro. Imagine if I was in a jet, right? I saw that the plane was going to crash. I pulled my eject button. Boom! And I'm bringing administration down with me. You want to create this mess? You inherit this mess. The problem is they never get held accountable. The problem is they're going to retire right off into the sunset. That's why all of you guys have to file a civil lawsuit. And one more thing, since there's 25 warriors in here and all kinds of people watch. I've been wanting to say this. I might say this on an episode tomorrow. And if you're a family member and you have a loved one in blue behind those walls that's experiencing this bullshit right now, don't you forget, when, if and when they go to a level two and they get to go home, don't be like, oh, that, that's good, my fight's over. Like, uh, my, No, don't you forget what transpired in there, what is continuous transpired in there, how it was when you were going through it. Like, nah, man, this ain't selfish world. Oh, look at this ain't selfish world. I don't do selfish world. You got to help people and be like, nah, this is wrong. This is wrong. It was wrong then. It's wrong now. Think of, I'm not in the department. Why am I so passionate about this? Well, one, I wasn't ready to quit. Two, fair is fair, man. It's not even fair. Fair is, fair is like, <laughs> fair is like, hey, little Billy, give Timmy half of your Kit Kat bar. That's fair. Oh, look, this is fucking life or death. You kidding me? I don't toy with life or death. Lieutenant is cooking right now. Yeah, that motorcycle pissed me off, man. Then I see graffiti on the walls. You guys have never seen me drive. You guys are going to see me flip out on the... I'm glad you guys are seeing me drive, man. Now you guys know what my wife has to deal with. Oh, okay. PTSD. Fucking angry issues. Erectile dysfunction. Heck, you're driving. What do you need to use it for? I don't know, man. Just... I'd just like to know that one day it'll work again. Come on, boy. Come on, motherfucker. Get up. Get up, Craig. <laughs> Imagine the other cars looking like the fucking EOP. <laughs> Get up, Craig. <laughs> oh, shit.
man, I wish I had another Red Bull. I'm going to be late to this interview, man. Fuck. Welcome back to our channel, Warriors. A class action lawsuit would be good, man. But everybody, everybody would have to get on board. And I do mean everybody would have to get on board with that class action lawsuit. ED gets you $100 a month, free Viagra at the VA. That's what I heard. They consider it a loss of a limb. That's what I heard. But I did not get erectile dysfunction from the military. My shit was working when I came back from Iraq. Is it when I joined the California Department of Correction that I was like, I looked at Jeff McCumber and I'm like, how the fuck is that man standing upright without a spine? I don't get it. <laughs> I looked at Shelly Amador, the captain, and instant, man, my worker wouldn't even get up. That was a wrap. Fucking out for the count. One. Two, three, four, ding, 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 TKO. Yeah, that's okay. We're all pinchy. Ah, motherfucker. <laughs> what the fuck, King Juice? Relax, bro. You're going wild in the comments. You can tone it down, bro. What the hell, motherfucker? Oh, shit. How much caffeine do you drink per day? Okay, I wake up, automatically I have six cups of coffee. 3.05 a.m., six cups. And I, I take a shower, I do my work, I do work out. Oh, my goodness. And then I take my pre-workout without water. I got some around here somewhere. Some fucking free work out around here somewhere. Um, should probably do you guys a show and tell what's in my car. Fucking mess right now, let me tell you. Uh, take my pre workout. Um, right now there's a Red Bull. I just, for my daughter's softball game. Mm -hmm. And at some point, Prior to get to my destination, I'm going to have another Red Bull. Because this shit's going to go on late, man. I'm not even digging this shit, but whatever. The show must go on, man, as Johnny Cochran said. Cochran? Fuck. Cochran. I don't know. Damn, 3 a.m.? Yup. Ah, oh, maybe it's the food like that salt. Peter stuff or whatever. Oh, that that was a thing too. Did you guys know that in basic training in boot camp, this is a thing. I bet you guys didn't even know. I should have talked about this in the documentary. There is a thing called salt Peter. Salt Peter. They put it in the eggs. That is so that you do not get a wood, right? You do not get a woody, a stiffy. You don't get morning wood. You don't get it. I did, what, four months in basic training? Not once did I get one. And then you kind of start talking to your friends, like, hey, motherfucker, you notice something not happening? Yeah, I noticed that too. Then the rumors start going around. They're like, yeah, they put this shit in there so no weird stuff happens right amongst the men, which, of course, that's not going to happen. But that's a thing. First, they said it was a rumor and false. But no, that's a thing. It's called saltpeter. Makes you impotent. That's the thing. That's the truth. Those that know, know. True. Wayne right there. Wayne said true. TRT. Oh, King Juice, you already know, my boy. Let me know. Let me know, King Juice, if, if what you would think me on trend would be like, right? If I got jumped on that trend train, I'm looking like Wes Watson and shit. What you think? What you think, my boy? Should I, should I take it to that next level? Nah, homie. Is that what's in the Kool-Aid packets in CDCR? I, I'm not sure. I know for a fact I never heard nothing like that in CDC. Uh, never heard nothing like this is what we're giving them. This is what contains. It, 
Is it a possibility? It's probably a possibility, but I never did hear that. Look at me dropping military knowledge. I'm actually surprised you knew that, Breaker Don. I'm actually surprised you knew that. And I haven't heard that in years, man, in ages. Salt Peter, for sure, that's a thing. So I'm like my Camp Pendleton right now. Shout out to the Marines. Shout out to all the branches. I'll stream with you guys the whole way there. I should probably jump on my Twitch and stream, but ain't nobody trying to watch me in a fucking car on Twitch. They said they don't drink the Kool-Aid, jail Kool-Aid. They always said don't drink the jail Kool-Aid. Then maybe that's true. Possibly true. <laughs> Marines. That's awesome. 